Hey, what's up guys? Daniel here in the tech studio. The Tozo T6 wireless Bluetooth earbuds. 121,000 reviews on Amazon. 35 bucks. Is the hype real? Let's get into it. hundred and twenty one thousand reviews on Amazon with four and a half stars I don't think I've ever seen anything with that many reviews good reviews as well and for 35 bucks this thing has to be amazing right well let's get into the specs so in the Tozo T6 we have IPX8 waterproofing which means waterproof for up to one meter for up to 30 minutes six hour battery on a single charge with up to 30 hours with the case bluetooth 5.0 wireless charging which is something that is unheard of at this price point but but it is still micro usb Blah. come on man it's 2021 no physical buttons so all touch controls gross and six different colors to choose from which is kind of cool I do like the very small and simple footprint of it. It's extremely portable and pretty comfortable in the ears. And that was the good. So let's get into the bad. One of my biggest problems with this thing is actually the design. Let's start with the old archaic charging tech from 2013, micro USB. By the way, this is eight year old technology. USB-C became the standard 2014? Using, you got 2013 year old tech in your 2021 earbuds. It's not a good luck, but it's got wireless charging, right? Okay, and wireless charging means you now have to buy a new wireless charger for your earbuds. Your wireless charger for your phone is not the same for something like this or like AirPods. They're not compatible. So either way, you have to use something you don't already have and to buy a new wireless charger or go fumble around in that drawer that has all those cables for a micro USB cable. Another thing, the earbuds are too small and slippery. Yes, they're slippery. Why are they slippery? If you had a gun to my head and told me you have five seconds to pull one of these out, I'd say shoot me. I cannot do it. Um, I don't have big hulking chunky hands, at least I don't think I do. So this shouldn't be an issue, but it is. I'm i I'm not making this up. I'm not saying this for a joke. I, I genuinely cannot. Oh, oh, I grab, I, oh, I got it. Oh, Jesus Christ. A few minutes later. Oh, it's like the claw game. Oh my God. <laughs> the second one is not that hard because I actually have room to just scoop it out. But holy hell. And because this thing is so small and has no physical buttons, there's no way to grab the earbud without it accepting some kind of input. The entire surface of the earbud is the button. It's so small that... Oh, God. Get, hold on. A little longer than a few minutes later. How, how do you grab this and adjust this without touching the top? There's no way. It's too small. And because it's so slippery and small, I know one day this thing's going to fall out my ears. It's going to fall out my hand, down the drain. There it goes. Oh, what else? Uh, the flap is very flimsy. Look at it. The other sucky part is that because it's so flimsy, in order to grab it, I have to push against this, which already feels like it's gonna break. So every time I go to grab it, it feels like I'm gonna break the lid off. Okay, so usability is uh, not that great, but how does it sound? Eh. I understand that these are 35 bucks and I can't expect incredible quality but I do expect them to be just as good as another pair of $35 earbuds, the Let's Fit T20. 
the Let's Fit T20s does everything the T6 does, just better. So for the T6, the sound quality is... <laughs> the T6 is very flat. The bass is very muted for some reason compared to the T20s. My biggest problem with sound quality is actually the volume. The volume does not get loud enough, like at all. And even weirder is the volume levels, okay? So check this out. The lowest volume sounds like it's at what any other headphones would be 15, 20%. And then it's max is maxed out at like 80%. It's really weird. Literally when you go from 80% to 100%, the volume doesn't change at all. The T20 has a very normal linear volume band and its bass is definitely much punchier and deeper and it gives the T20s a much fuller sound. Is the Tozo T6 worth it? Does it live up to the 121,000 reviews? Simply no, it does not. Not when the T20 exists. I don't recommend the Tozo T6. I didn't know they were gonna explode out of the, th oh. sure the price is right and it's got wireless charging, but usability is bad and the sound quality is not that great. So I don't really understand where all these good reviews are coming from. I don't know. Somebody's lying. It's not me though. You know, I only give you guys the facts. I wake up every day and choose facts. So don't buy the Tozo T6. Instead, check out the Let's Fit T20. And I have a review coming up for this really soon. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video. Same exact specs as the T6, only better design and better sound quality. So that's it for this one. Again, hit that subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.